The position instruction is used to control a single axis, two axis, or three axis, and drive that axis or multiple axis to a target position. These axes have to be set up in the high speed I.O. To see a video on the axis configuration, please see the quick start video link in the description below. Here you can see the basic setup for each axis. If you need to make changes to that setup, this direct link will take you to the setup wizard. Use this drop down menu to select which axis configuration this instruction will control. As you go through these configurations, the graphics shown here will update, showing you exactly what this will control. They did a really great job with these graphics to reduce the confusion. Target position 1 is used to control axis 1. Target position 2 for axis 2. And position 3 for axis 3. For these options, you can either enter in a tag address or enter in a direct numerical value. One thing you must be aware of is that these values may be changed while the instruction is enabled. However, it does require an off to on transition before the updated values will be used in the instruction. For the absolute mode, this action moves to an absolute position relative to the home position, ignoring the target position sign and always traveling in a positive direction. For the incremental mode, the axis moves to a position relative to the current position of the axis, and with this option, you can select the incremental move to always be in a positive, negative, or in a direction controlled by the sign of the target position. The immediate stop option, when enabled, specifies that the PLC should immediately stop sending pulses when disabling instructions. This will abort the move abruptly and possibly lose the axis home reference. When this is disabled, the PLC follows a specified deceleration rate if the instruction is deactivated. The axis will decelerate until reaching zero velocity. This S-curve option will help smooth the transition of the velocity change to reduce jerk and help prevent position loss due to inertia or friction loss. The values range from zero to 100%. And finally, here are the status flags for this instruction. See the help file for how these operate during the process, and a full listing of the error codes can also be found in the help file. To see more information on the Click Plus motion options, please see this playlist. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new products and solutions.